The official reopening of the Dallas Transportation Terminal about a month ago didn't signal the end of work there. City crews and a private contractor are taking out the tracks directly behind the terminal. Those old tracks will be replaced by a street to loop cars and Sertran buses around the station. The old sheds, except for the one serving Amtrak passengers, and the midway over the tracks will be torn out to accommodate the street. By the end of the year, work is expected to begin on redeveloping the area around the terminal, and that includes construction of a new high-rise luxury hotel. A few years ago, the southwest part of downtown Dallas, and especially the area around the Union Terminal, was the city's most decayed section. Now, if the developers of this project see their dreams come true, this will be Dallas's nicest section. One item of historical note is coming down. The 60-year-old Wells Fargo building will soon be no more. Interest in the structure is centered mainly around the old Wells Fargo signs that adorn the place. But don't get any ideas about carting one off. The city has donated the signs to the Dallas Historical Society. The Wells Fargo office will make way for a parking lot for Amtrak and Sertran bus patrons. Two forms of transportation that run just slightly, but not much, faster than the original Wells Fargo stagecoaches. Arch Campbell, Channel 8 News.